All right. It begins 2012, or more accurately, second 2012. And I'm hoping that they don't do a third 2012 because I don't really want to add another YouTube account, especially with this horrible layout. Uh, there's really nothing new in this one. I mean, there's a new little girl in it. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Isn't Cusack still in it? Stephanie and Shane return. Wait, that's the wrong 2012. <laughs> <laughs> this one will probably get more attention. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, Calling it now. Basically the same stuff. I mean, the apocalypse stuff, the world's going to change, something you've never seen before. Oh, yeah, heart's coming it. back. Oh, uh, I would love it though. I gotta admit. So I'm still thinking Jericho. Yeah, with, with like you, the backup plan of Taker or something. But I know Jericho loves styles. to play the little games online where he says, "Oh well, you know, I'm not coming back. I'll be in Honolulu. I'll be here. I'll be there." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. You're coming back. <laughs> One thing with Jericho is. Well, he dude, supposedly dude. missed out on like a five fi- uh, five figure payment for not being in WWE 12. That he's arguably uh, pissed off about. I mean, I would be pissed off. I'd be pissed off if somebody uh, owed me ten bucks and they didn't yeah. spend it back, let alone five figures. Fault, isn't it? Come on, think about it. The guy is refusing to actually sign any type of deal with the WWE while he's doing his outside projects. So of course he's going to miss out on stuff like WWE 12. If he want really wanted to cash in, then he would like give him a bit of leeway, give him some, you know, allow him to book some of the projects that he's going out and doing. It's like when he did that stupid downfall show, which made no bloody sense and didn't make any ratings. Is that that whatsoever. show where they drop a car or something? Yeah, they dropped everything, including my panties. Um, they they dropped they literally just dropped everything off this thing, and it was on a competing network to NBC Universal. And because he was working for them on Monday Night Raw, he was considered an NBC Universal employee. So the dude was being a bit of a douchebag by doing it. And he can sit there and defend all the little bits and pieces that he was doing. But in the end, if you don't want to be a WWE guy, if you don't want to be associated with the product, then don't get pissed off when you're not making the money from the product. You know? Yeah, everyone else is yeah. staying loyal. It's like the whole beef they had with The Rock about him coming in every for a cup of coffee just to get a big payday. That's still more than Majorco's doing right now. Yep. Then there's that backup option that we're hearing that it might be used for Undertaker if it can't be Jericho, which I can see that coming. I mean, (laughs) Undertaker, Prophecy stuff, Apocalypse, works in the gimmick. I I feel like they also need a backup backup just in case Taker dies between now and then. (laughs) Because he's just so old and they're not even 100% sure he'll make it. I'm I really hope Michelle that McCall. he doesn't come back this early. I mean, I love Undertaker. I would want to see him full time on the road and everything, but because I'm a fan of his, I don't want him to return early. I don't want him to get injured or anything like that. I'm still saying Michelle McCall. You know, <laughs> maybe that's why they added the little girl. Outfit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got to be. It's Shane and Stephanie. Oh no! Please no. Well, you know what? <laughs> I haven't heard that until you brought that up, and that they've got little dark haired boy now they've got a little girl in there i mean they could be doing something like that you never know i mean well, triple H's kids just crawl on stage Again, like out of the screen like the ring <laughs> but triple h's kids crawl on the stage they're gonna end up because triple h is in charge now they're gonna end up having a better record than like half of the roster <laughs> everybody's gonna start jobbing to them they'll get nash like jobbing to them <laughs> see to me it would be I would love an angle where like Shane comes back and like he'd be pissed off that he didn't get the company because he's the son, he's the real son. Right. That that to me would be interesting, but I don't think Shane uh. has any interest whatsoever. Or uh. it's Vince Russo redebuting, and that's why the world is going to end. Yep, because he's coming back to write for the WWE, make it oh, more God. edgier. Oh God. See, if they did bring back Shane, and I, I don't think that it will be Shane. I'm still thinking it's going to be Jericho. But then again, I've been wrong about other things in the past. Um, if they did bring back Shane, I could see that being the potential match at WrestleMania. Shane against Triple H. Power struggle. I doubt it. I think he's happy just doing what he's doing at the moment. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think that that's necessarily going to happen. But if, if Shane does come back, I'm expecting it to be a WrestleMania thing. Oh, yeah. 
And I'm like, thinking I always... it could be someone new. It could be a major like jump from another promotion. But they're saying a familiar face. So could be Lesnar. There you go. Or Paul Heyman. I don't put a whole lot of faith in it being Lesnar. I don't like. I thought at least from what I, I don't really follow UFC, and I, I don't, every time I did watch it, it was for Lesnar. But didn't he get hurt to the point where he can't really do it anymore? Now he got that stomach infection thing, and now he's like in control of his diet, so he's fine. Like diverticulitis or something, right? Yeah, it, it was at the point where it it screwed his stomach up so badly they didn't even know if he was going to live or die. Well, that's always healthy. Exactly. <laughs> so the next um, thing you do is you jump right into uh, an arena where somebody pummels you for a living. That's a great idea. Well, he's like the biggest draw in MMA, so of course he's going to try and get back in and do it again and again and again. I wouldn't want somebody to sad. hit me for a million dollars, no matter what. I mean, well, a million dollars. A million dollars. Beat yeah. the shit out of me. I don't care. <laughs> Speaking of a million dollars, I'm doing my little Tony Mango here. Um, <laughs> has anyone heard what what Maurice actually said about the WWE oh, God, bringing yeah. her back? She says, like, oh, uh, I'll do it if Vince paid me a million dollars. Do I don't even think a diva can draw that much. She also said that she would come back for a main event uh, championship match at WrestleMania. <laughs> wow. Those are like the demands of Shawn Michaels 15 yeah. years into his career. Yeah, and it's like Shawn Michaels carries with him the honor of being basically considered the best professional wrestler ever. Yeah. Maurice is like, granted, she was entertaining smoking hot but no nah, <laughs> michaels i think sean <laughs> just got like a million uh in 05 when for a year like a year contract was like a million dollars or something like 20 year tenure with the company yeah like and, and granted you're hot and all but a million dollars for you to come back and wrestle part-time <laughs> then also how much money are they wasting on people like snooki touche yeah. God. I can so, see your point then. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Snooki's probably got about a hundred grand, which she's not Still, even worth. That's that. one hundred and twenty grand more than what she deserves. She's not worth a quid. She's like this little big fake hairdo thing. She's like a midget. She's probably about the size of Hornswoggle. She's a Muppet. <laughs> so we'll see the Muppets. If anybody's doing these ancillary character things that we're talking about for the best and worst awards, as far as I'm concerned. You go with Muppet versus Snooky. Muppets winning best, and Snooky's winning worst. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I'm still I still go with Jared yeah, I Subway. Did like the Muppets? I have to admit that I was, it was okay. that was actually a lot of fun. I like the Beaker thing with Seamus. I thought that was hilarious. I don't care how cheesy it was. Damn straight. Hey fella, see it this family reunion. That's what's going to happen. It begins 2012. The Muppets are going to come back because they're familiar faces. Yes. You have, like, Kermit jump on the top rope and do a frog splash. <laughs> I hope it's, like, somebody that, like, we completely don't expect. I want to be surprised. I hope. I, I really do. I don't want to. I, I don't like guessing. <laughs> the way I see it is. <laughs> I, well, like, if the Ultimate videos, Warrior showed up, I'd shit my pants. I think everybody would shit would their pants. People. I think even Warrior would shit himself. <laughs> Just as he's yelling, like, We'd have to do oh. Smack Talk smell vision and send you, uh, like, a pair <laughs> Of Chris Stace's pants. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if, Just if Ultimate you. Warrior is the one behind It Begins and Second 2012, then you guys got to hold me to this. We will cut an entire episode of Smack Talk in the vein of an Ultimate Warrior promo. Oh my god, I don't think yeah. my throat <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll and my underwear could do that. <laughs> I'm game for that. I'm pretty yeah. sure we, we, we would die at the end of it. Tony! <laughs> When the spaceships come... Oh, uh, when the Macho Man. Yeah, what that. was that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bird? <laughs> so... Snap, I do a Slim Jim. Oh, fuck. I am not expecting it to be Warrior. I kind of hope it is now, just because I said that. <laughs> I said, don't come, and I came. What the hell? Just, Whoever, even if it's Jericho, let's do an Ultimate Warrior episode of Smack Talk. <laughs> I really want someone... Like, make it Goldberg or Warrior. Just something. I want to be, like, completely caught off guard. It would be so cool if it was like Sting. He did well, Rick if it's somebody show. who's coming back to take what's theirs, we might be thinking Repo Man. Re- repo, <laughs> Repo, Repo. It, would, it fits perfectly. <laughs> He's going to start a tag team with Duke Dumpster Drossy. You didn't pay your bills. I'm repoing this shit. 
<laughs> and apparently it means shyster. the apocalypse is happening. Irvin R. Shyster comes to like take away all our delayed taxes. In this recession? Come on. <laughs> so if you have your suggestions for what you think second 2012 is, it begins 2012. If you think it's going to be Repo Man, if you think it's going to be... Uh, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Uh, or Maurice. What? For a million <laughs> bucks. Snooki. Leave your comments uh, either here or on the first It Begins 2012, since we're going to kind of be going back and forth between that. Uh, next week, I'm sure we're going to have another one. So we'll break that down. Hopefully, they'll have a little bit more to the video the next week, and we can actually break down more stuff to it. But... And remember, folks, don't do drugs, or you'll turn out like Dace. You know it. His pants every day. I just, I finally took them off. There was no point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we have to end this show. <laughs> <laughs> so, any last words? Yeah, uh, as always, follow me on uh, at Michael Bohan on uh, Twitter. And subscribe to my facebook if you want to do that and check out my blog at michaelborhan.blogspot.com the accent there <laughs> i know i'm sounding so like arab maybe it's my muhammad hassan impression um yeah so michaelborhan.blogspot.com and as always unlike an unfriend anthony <laughs> <laughs> unlike him on facebook I'll follow him on Twitter. <laughs> and take care and flatten your hair. <laughs> Emo! We're going to be having a um, little plug of my own here on my own show, no doubt. Um, hopefully, we will be having the very first video for Uncensored Comedy coming up soon. A little sketch comedy troupe Dace and I are part of amongst uh, some other people that I know. Frank Klein, one of them, who uh, should be on Smack Talk whenever he gets a webcam. Damn it, Frank. Go buy one. So check out uh, youtube.com slash uncensored comedy. Now uncensored is not spelled correctly. It's spelled wrong on purpose. We will not get into that right now. He lies. He's illiterate. And it's not <laughs> porn. Tony won't let me do it. <laughs> now he only gets away with having his pants off on a SmackDown. <laughs> That's kind of the limit. He doesn't bend that way. <laughs> so if I can plug, uh, what else can I plug? I already plugged the awards. So Go and uh, give your choices for the awards. Check back next week on Smack Talk. Check the website. Check all the other nonsense that's going on here. And uh... check out Chris Dace. You know it. <laughs> so, with that being said, this has been another Smart Out moment, and we're being counted out. See you next time. This is the outro. Outro! It's not an intro.